What's up, family? North Korea talking real reckless again, y'all. This time via their state-run newspaper. So basically, anytime a state-run newspaper says something, they're echoing the sentiments of the president. So this is certified gangster verbiage. You did? Now, they're accusing uh, China of dancing to the tune of the U.S. and providing Washington with an excuse to deploy military assets in the uh, Korean Peninsula. Now, they're also accusing uh, China's media for suggesting that they levy sanctions against North Korea to avert war. North Korea is like, man, look here, man. Y'all mad about us and our nuclear program but y'all got y'all nuclear program and it's supposed to be cool. We have our nuclear program so that we can prevent or actually defend ourselves against an invasion. That's what North Korea is saying. And they further went on to say this, North Korea would never beg for the maintenance of friendship from China, risking its nuclear program which is as precious as its own life, no matter how valuable the friendship is, it said. So they said, look at man, I don't give a damn how cool we is. I'm going to put this nuclear program together. We're going to keep it growing. We're going to keep on making these explosives and these bombs. And man, whatever y'all want to do, man, hey, man, a fight, come with it. That's basically their mentality. Now, a lot of Americans don't understand why North Korea is so hostile toward the United States. Well, back in the mid 40s, boys and girls, that was this little thing called the Korean War. And it was brutal. Now, a lot of Americans uh, just don't know anything about the Korean War. It escapes their history. In fact, it's widely overlooked in American history. But the Koreans have not forgotten. They have not forgotten. It was brutal. There are reports that uh, the United States used some 635 tons of explosive, more than what they used uh, against Japan and uh, Germany in World War II. So this was large, and it also said that they took out some 20% of North Korea's uh, population. So, man, North Korea pissed off. I mean, they, they, they like, man, look here, man. Man, whatever, man, it's whatever, man. They got a hell of a grudge, man. This grudge has been going on. What is that now? What are we talking about? Since 45, that would be 55, 65, whoo, 72 years. They got like a 72-year grudge. They pissed off. So Americans, are, a lot of Americans, not all, but a lot of Americans are being very, very reckless, especially the Americans on the so-called right. They're like, yeah, go in, let's bomb them, man. Go teach the little fat fucker some manners. And, oh, a little pudgy. Uh, he's pudgy. And look at him, get him a little haircut. You know, he's talking all kind of reckless stuff, man. And these people don't understand that they dealing with a man who has access or at least the capabilities to build a nuclear weapon. That ain't nothing to play with. Now, I know that because America has been the big bad wolf for so long and we haven't seen any bombs uh, flying on this side in the mainland, we feel pretty cocky and safe because we don't have to see the death and destruction that 
these bombs that we drop causes or the bombs other people drop on that side aimed at Americans causes. Now, that Korean War was brutal. They said that they, you know these the explosives had agents in it, which just burned people's skins and you know just burn their skin off. It was it was very very powerful, and so I mean I mean I, I can see I can see why they would still be pissed off. I mean because I'm still pissed off about slavery, real talk. So and you can't act like that. What happened 60 years ago does not have some type of effect on Korean life today. Before you can get to today, you gotta get you gotta go through the past, right? You gotta go through yesterday. And them people pissed off. They still mad. Now, I'm gonna tell you like this in regards to China and North Korea. If I had to take a, just a hunch, I really don't think that there's a real beef there. I think it's fake news. I think they're posturing. China is definitely playing both sides against the middle. I would not trust China for nothing. <laughs> China, I believe, is in the best position. Because they're, they're trying to remain neutral. China can't afford to give up North Korea as an ally. They just can't. North Korea serves as a critical buffer to the West. It, it, it serves as a, 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 a critical buffer between the West and China. So they need North Korea. And I, I, I very seriously doubt any real conflict, like actual physical conflict, what happened between those two nations. Now, what North Korea has done is really quite clever, if you really think about it. By them saying, hey, by them being uh, hostile and belligerent toward the whole idea of peace, they have the international community watching their every move, trying to see what they're going to do. This puts them in a great position of strength, power. People looking at them like they are a major player. It puts them on the world stage. So if dude can get away with a whole bunch of rhetoric and get Washington to concede to uh, certain regulations, then I think it's a win for North Korea. It lets people know that they are serious and they do have the propensity to, to drop a bomb on you, you know? And I think for North Korea, that's a good thing. Because remember y'all, this you know, war is chess, not checkers. You jump out there playing checkers, you're gonna get, knocked, get your head knocked off. So I think that's a good thing. But a more important question is this, y'all. Why all of a sudden is uh, the Korean president, Kim Jong-un, under attack? All of a sudden, he's under attack. He, the dude been acting the same way forever. I mean, he's acting the same way since, I mean, he's acting the same way his daddy acted. And... He's basically been the same person since he's taken over. So why all of a sudden so much interest in going after him? Why? That's what you have to actually stop watching the damn news and just only watching the news and taking CNN's word for everything they say. Just stop taking their word, man. Start looking a little deeper. Start asking questions. Why are they coming after this man? I'm going to tell you something about me. Anytime I see a person being attacked out of nowhere and I don't have any proof for anything that this person actually did 
that would warrant such an attack, I immediately become interested in that person and I immediately give that person the benefit of, of, of the doubt over his attackers. That's what I do. I, I've been around the world and I've seen a whole lot of things and I know that everything you hear and see on television right here in America is not true. Everybody has an agenda. So stop believing everything you hear. These brain dead zombies running around here talking about bomb, 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 kill, kill, kill. You don't want that. Y'all remember, y'all saying the same thing about Iraq. And look where we at with that. There, there are no winners in, in the Iraq war. America had thousands of casualties. Iraq had tens of thousands of casualties. They basically towed a damn country up and then gave money back to repair the damn country. We could have used that money. And you know all the things that we could have used that money for? You got the, the poor, the, you got your health care, you got the environment, and you got uh, job creation. Man, you got all kinds of things we could have used that money for. But we used it to go and start a fake war. I think that at one point they were spending like a a billion dollars a day on the war. Insane. Insane. If that's the type of America y'all want, man, y'all go ahead and knock yourself out. Let me tell you something. Once America decides that it's no longer going to try to become the world police, once America starts minding our own business and stop trying to be a bully, peace just might stand a chance. Yo, if you like the videos I'm presenting to y'all, make sure y'all go out and support the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.